Wins on the road are never easy, particularly in the preseason. And Saturday night, the Buccaneers could not get anything going on offense. The Tennessee Titans dominated on defense, and they won 13. It was a defensive game, 13 to 3. It was. It yeah. took a long time, really, to get any points. But the highlight of the Bucks' defense, Tryon Shoyanka showed up, was disruptive, put pressure on a quarterback, made some tackles. And Anthony Nelson on the other side, the same thing. And then Carl Nassib showed up. A lot of missed tackles, but because they don't tackle live in practice in preseason, they'll get better at that as they get closer to the regular season. But they did a good job of showing up uh, the key guys that got to play. We even mentioned Logan Hall's name today, put some pressure and a hurry up on the quarterback, which led to an interception. So there were some really positive things on the defense, and that was good to see. Offense. Uh, not so much. We did not throw the ball well, could not make catches. A couple of plays, you had a chance, but we just couldn't bring it in and, and move the chains. Uh, our third down offense didn't work at all. Right. And we, we couldn't get our third down. We couldn't get, we didn't get big plays. They didn't. And because they practiced against each other for a couple days this week, a lot of times you get to know uh, how the offensive linemen play and the defensive linemen do things, and it becomes very difficult sometimes to. to protect the quarterback and Trask he was under duress a lot of the time and when he did have opportunities Scotty Miller did a great job he ran right by Farley who's the starting corner and had him beat by a couple yards and just wasn't able to hang on to the catch but if he catches that one clean he can go in for a touchdown would have changed the complex of the game. We saw Leonard Fournette for the first time in this preseason he had a couple of handful of six carries I believe it was and hey, average, average four, four yards. yards a carry and his average last year four and a half so good to see Lee playoff Lenny yeah. back in the game. Uh, Keyshawn Vaughn he grew up in Tennessee Mr. Football in Tennessee at high school played at Illinois for a couple of years and then played at Vanderbilt, and uh, he put on a show. He was our leading rusher of the game. Good to see him. Last week he wasn't used that much, but it, he was good to see run the football. Yeah. He made a couple of nice runs. The longest run was 17 yards. Yeah, he really did a nice job. And Rashad White as well, we saw him catch, catch some balls along with uh, Fournette. Obviously, young guy, he's got to hang on to that football. He was going down, and, and somebody's knee knocked the ball out. Uh, but he did some good things, and he had a nice kickoff return as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it, Rashad White is going to make this roster yeah, as a running back. And right now, it's Leonard Fournette. I think it's between Keyshawn Vaughn and the, the rookie, who's going to be number two and the number three. And, and I think the running game will be solid and sound. We just got to get some guys that can block. Offensive yes. line problems continue. We had a number of penalties in the game, primarily on the offensive line. And those penalties took us out of converting third downs and having success and getting first down. And we lose another offensive line yes. to injury. Aaron Stinney. We don't know his status right now, but it never looks good when you get in that cart and a cart at all, and your, your teammates are all around you. You right. know it's a serious injury. Yeah, for sure. And it didn't look great on the replay, but you know he was competing for the starting left guard position. And get it, get it, he got his f full look today. He played all the first half. Did have a couple holding calls, but you know, as a young guy, he's trying to make plays. They just have to get him to calm down. It's not uncommon. But overall, I think he protected well, and he did some good things in the run game. Uh, but that offensive line is going to be a work in progress because Jensen was already a guy that was down, so they were light to begin with. So that's going to be the thing. You know, the guys up front have to open holes for the running game. They also have to protect the quarterback. So that's going to be a big piece of conversation, both in the media and the locker room, over the next week just to try to get that solidified before the regular season. In the passing game, receiving, nobody had a really breakout game. I think leading receivers, two catches maybe by three different Buccaneers. So nobody had a real breakout game, no big explosive 35-yard pass plays. And so, But last week, you know, that was the excitement, this whole second half. Those little five-foot agents, receivers, rookies trying to make the roster, they're making big-time plays. Tonight, we didn't see a whole lot of that. Maybe the defense, that's well, how they do it. Again, protection, not having a lot of time, letting those deeper routes develop. But Tyler Johnson had another big catch, yeah. uh, showed that he's continuing to be that reliable receiver. Tompkins, another couple good catches, yeah. you know, but, but we, you know, we did not have a lot of time to drive that ball down the field. So we talked offense, we talked defense, special teams. How about that rookie punter, a 62 and a 65 yes. yard punt by Jay Camarda? My goodness. Uh, he, it's good to see. Yeah. I mean, that's a guy you draft, you expect him to get those big punts. and. A little inconsistent the first week, maybe some nerves for the first NFL game, but he, he blasted a couple uh, long punts today, and that was good to see. Yeah, big boom, 65, 62. I mean, he's a rookie. He showed, you know, I think he was disappointed. He averaged 45 yards a, week, a punt last week. 
but tonight he averaged over 50. I mean, good for Jake Camarda. Now, next week it's Indianapolis, the Colts, 7.30 kickoff uh, up in Indianapolis, and uh, that'll be it for preseason. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to see the starters, so we're going to see them get ready. They fired the fireworks just for the Buccaneers. It sounds like fire cannons. Bucks lose 13-3. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week from Indy.